Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. Boy. What was that? <laughs> okay. Well, that was lame. I just took off the front of my vehicle. And I think it was due to, uh... Having low voxel quality. Maybe we should go up a level in voxel quality. There was a possibility that some of my lagging issues were related to voxel quality. At least that's what Equinox said. Oh yeah, here's another thing. Lots of little bugs to fix. So... That blurriness up in the corner, that, apparently, many of you told me that that can be fixed by going into graphics and disabling post-processing. There's also a mod out there that does it, but honestly, this seems to work pretty darn well. So, I'm not going to complain. I think I'm also going to put in heavy armor here if I can, because I have a feeling that's not the last time that I'm going to hit something. Oh, we don't have enough metal grid, huh? Let's go see if we can find something. I also want to do something a little bit dangerous. So I don't have enough medical components to build a medical room, like, back at the ice mine. And it really would be nice to have, a, have that be my, kind of my base. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grind this down and bring it back to the ice mine and hope that I don't die on the way back. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Should I grab this oxygen generator as well? Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some metal grid for my heavy armor blocks. I realize that's going to be needed in the uh, medical bay, but that's okay. We can deal with that later. Yeah, that should work. There. That should be good. Anything else I should grab while I'm here? Uh, yep. I think we got everything I care about. So we're going to go ahead and set this up just inside the door here. Do we not have... We don't have power either. That's... R oh, that's right. So there's not actually... I don't have enough reactor components to make a large grid reactor. So I was thinking at the end of last episode, what am I going to do about that? How am I going to make myself or get myself some power to this grid? Because this is kind of the grid I want to work off of without enough of anything to make a generator. Well, I've got a generator over here. So what I'm going to do so I'm actually going to put a put a, a connector on this and connect up to this grid. But I need to make a space to do that. So I think I'm going to kind of drill myself out a little bit of a... Um, that was weird. <laughs> okay, I'm right-click drilling. <laughs> and I guess there's now particle effects with that. It's been a while since I've manually drilled. Not sure if that's a bug or what, but for those that haven't played this much, right-click drilling destroys everything, and I don't need all this stone. But let's have some fun with this. I'm going to go ahead and set up something big enough to be able to park on, something along those lines. I think I'm out of steel plate. Looks like the uh, sun's going down. Ooh, 76 steel plate? Yes, please. Okay, that should give me enough room to work with. I think. And then we can back him up here. Yeah, this should be good. Yeah, if I put a connector right here in the middle, then I'm going to want a connector right here, which means that my 
my little ramp here isn't going to work, but that's okay. Uh, let's take a look. Put a connector there. And then we take our oxygen generator. Oh, it's not going to work the way I wanted it to. Oh, no, that'll be fine. Yeah. I think. Will it? No. See, I've got it all in my head. Doesn't mean that it's actually coming out of my mouth. All right. Now, well, I got this figured out. You don't you worry. Okay. So we're going to put the connector here. We're going to put a conveyor junction there. We're going to put our medical bay there. And our oxygen generator. Yes. And then we can actually put a little pipe going there. And as long as I've got the parts for all of this, this should work great. And nope, nope, nope. Whoop. Park. All right, so we're short some metal grid as expected, but luckily there should be a fair amount of it out here. I think this thing has a bunch of metal grid. Yes, it does. Not a whole lot. Hopefully enough. Corporation records indicate there is a flight research station on Mars with technology blueprints you may find useful. Uploading coordinates to suit HUD. Nice. Okay, so we have a medical bay now. Computers and motors. Oh, look, there was a whole bunch of metal grid in the cargo bay. All right, now let's see if we can get this thing attached to this thing. This thing needs power on its own to be able to connect. I didn't think about that. I can't connect without power on both sides. Okay, well, I have a thought for that. Also, I'm gonna need to lower this. There we go. Increase height offset and decrease height offset. And this should make it so that we can lower this whole thing. There we go. Now, once we do get power, those two will be able to lock pretty quick. It's actually lower than it needs to be. That's beautiful. So now the trick is to get power into this without having enough to make anything but a small reactor. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. We just need a rotor. Yeah, right there. Okay, let me grab some parts. And then rotor, advanced rotor. Eh, it's okay. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's one way to do it. Add a small head. There we go. Okay, small reactor. This isn't exactly the way I wanted to do it, but this will work. That's so sweet. Now we just need some uranium, and we are golden. I need a better way to get up there. Now we got an easier way to get up here. That's good. <laughs> we have power. So now, should be able to hop in here and tell that connector to lock. And instantly die. It's a good thing that we have a uh, medical room, huh? That was interesting. I guess it just kind of locked into place and smacked me in the head. Here's a thought. Let's try and connect the connector to everything else. Yes, it did. So if we add another storage container, it has both kinds of connectors on it. So we'll put that there. Don't have any interior plate, huh? Do I not have any interior plate anywhere, or I have some in the cockpit? Ah, uh, 
uh, now I'm short in terrier plate again. Does that mean that there's actually no way to get it from here? I thought there was a connection. How is there not a connection? Oh, is it a... Oh, it's one of those small grid... Or small item, large item things. They really need to eliminate that. This is so incredibly inefficient. Or inefficient? That's what I meant to say. So those light up green. And the whole reason I did this... You know what? I'm going to come in this way. The whole reason I did this... So that should bring in ice here, maybe. Assuming ice can travel from one to the other. It can, apparently. That was four ice, not 4K ice. There we go. And now... We can refill all the things. Excellent. It appears... So it does have my suit in here, but it appears there is a small bug in the suit that makes it so that my jetpack does not work. It has to do with the latest update. And... Yeah, okay. Uh, basically, they increased the gravity, the way gravity affects your character model. And so any custom uh, suit models have to be updated to increase the jetpack that they add, if that makes sense. So what do you say we go check out the rest of this mine? Oh, jeez. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. So we didn't come down this hallway, which... If I remember correctly from my last playthrough with Cosmic, there is a bad guy right around that corner. Yeah, I saw him. Let's see if we can manage to hit him before he hits me. That's funny. He's not shooting at me. Oh, now he is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can do that again. And this time... Not be stupid. So there's no sensor on him now. Is that enough? That's apparently enough. Nice. It's a lot easier than it used to be. Anything in here? <laughs> He's aiming at me. But his lack of a sensor is keeping him from firing, I guess? That's funny. Well. I'll take your parts. Yeah, that, that didn't work quite the way that I had intended. At least I know it's not a problem. Oh, I remember the last one of these things that I took out had a warhead on it. Oh, man. Stuff everywhere. Well, at least I don't have to grind through the wall anymore. Oh, hey. What are we gonna get out of this hack? Searching G Corp data file. Gas storage technology unlocked. Oh, nice. Oxygen and hydrogen tanks, I would assume. And looks like we got some silicon, some oxygen bottles, hydrogen bottles, and some ice. I'm gonna go ahead and grind down this air vent because it's got metal grid and construction components, good stuff in it. Let's see, what else can we grind down? By the way, the sound blocks aren't working and I don't know why. Lots of things to take. And one floating light armor slope. For those who haven't run across this before, small grid, small containers or small grid, small doors can only fit some items. Some items can transfer through those and some can't. So things like, so anything that's that's measured in K, like scrap metal, can transfer through. But larger items, like uh, for example, large steel tubes. See, I can't transfer, I can transfer this back and forth between the cockpit and 
this medium cargo container, but I cannot transfer anything large. So tools can go back and forth, um, explosives. Interior plate, however, is too big to transfer, so it won't go. It's a feature that drives me nuts. Up here, this is a good spot to see it too. So this light is attached to this small reactor. We can take a peek in here and we can see that there's a little bit of uranium in there. It's not a ton, but it's enough that if we ever wanted, it's enough to keep a wheeled vehicle running for a very long time. Also, we should take a look at this. Right now, the current output of this reactor is 7.5 kilowatts. But let me show you something. This was suggested by this comment here. If we turn this oxygen generator off, even though it's ac not actively doing anything, you can see that that just dropped by 500 watts. So it's now 7 kilowatts instead of 7.5. It's using 0.5 kilowatts at all times. So we really should leave stuff like that off. And by default, lights do basically nothing. It's great. Corner light. Radius, 10. Now it's useful. Offs, oh, that's the blink offset. No, it's not the blink offset. It's an offset. Offset of the light from the model? Oh, weird. You can change that now? Anyway, this whole area now is lit up somewhat. The other thing I want to get installed sooner than later is an assembler. Because that's going to let me kind of, you know, make things that I need. I need steel plate, do I? Okay, fine. We need iron, silicon, and nickel. So we have gold. That's not helpful. We just got a whole bunch of silicon. We have plenty of iron. I think we might be able to melt some stuff down and make ourselves some power cells. So a large battery is going to require 120. A small one would require 20. Power cells require nothing in the way of silicon. We can find plenty of iron. Be the nickel that's the problem. So we need to find 0 0.6, 6, so about 12 nickel. There's nickel in metal grid. Beautiful. Let's start disassembling some metal grid. And how are we doing on plates of any kind? So we have a fair amount of steel plate. We can get more. Oh, we should take apart these extra tools too. Disassemble all of those items. It's going to give us some base materials that we desperately need. Power cells. Can we make 20 of these? Easily. As a matter of fact, we might be able to make 120 of these. Oh, we can make solar cells too. We can make this base solar powered. Yeah, there's not going to be enough nickel. We can find more nickel around and stuff. There we go. So now, our little buggy has power. I mean, has a battery backup in case we run out of energy or whatever. All right, now, assemble. Oh, we're still just a little bit short on nickel. I really want a solar panel for this thing. So this is just all heavy armor, which means metal grid. It looks like I've got enough for the last few solar cells. That's good news. Guess who has a functioning solar panel? It, it's me. I, I have a functioning solar panel. So the solar panel is pulling currently pulling in 90 kilowatts. Not as much as I was hoping. Oh well, it's something. That's what matters. We might have to put something in here to manage power a little better, but for right now, I think we're okay. Battery will be fully charged in 31 minutes. How are my reactors doing? They're both putting out 500 kilowatts. That's kind of crazy. Oh, right, because the battery is currently pulling in one mega, a little over, actually it's basically pulling in everything that's not going to the rest of the base. So if I set the, it turned the battery off, 
and go take a look at the reactors. Current output zero, current output zero, and the solar panel is, on yeah, so that's what's going on, is it's basically just sucking in as much power as it possibly can to charge up that battery, but the base can run entirely off of the solar panel. That's good news. So once that battery is full, we'll be golden. Now let's see, what's around? So there's a shipment of ammo containers, flight research station, of course my crash site, small steel tube shipment, and then of course the air base, which if I'm not mistaken, would be just a bad idea to approach right now. And we can also wander around and just about everywhere we go, there'll be something to see. Duck Roll has done an amazing job. facilities and operations. They have exclusive access to the planet's surface since the colonists were relocated. Magnesium, aluminium, titanium, iron, and chromium make up the majority of their exports. As if she knew what I was talking about. Yes, the Mars is littered with G Corp facilities and operations. And we will probably want to go and find some of them. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go take a look and see what's out there. Let's also... No fuel, no fuel really. Mm-hmm. Don't think so. I think you are wrong about that. Okay. Um, I want to do a little bit more protection. Let's go with light armor for now. I don't think I'm going to have quite as much attacking me from the top as from the sides. And all the really important bits, I think are okay. I don't know. There we go. It's a bit of a block on wheels. So, you know, my standard design. All right, let's take our block on wheels and see what we can find. Oh. Space engineers crashed. That's no good. Well, apparently I was uh, halfway through building it last time, putting on the extra armor anyway. At least the last time it auto-saved. So, you know, I'm not sure if I did this exactly the same way as I did last time, but that's okay. Let's finish this up and get out onto the road, and hopefully it won't crash this time. I'm even going to do a quick save now. I don't want to do that again. So now my thought is, do I want to go the exact opposite direction that I went with Cosmic, or... Yeah, yeah, I do. That's, that's the answer there. So let's make sure... Yeah, I'm going to go a direction that there isn't anything. And it crashed again. Cool. I'm glad I quicksaved last time. Let's move. Let's see how far I go before it crashes again. I haven't looked at the log files yet. If it crashes again, I'll check out the log files and make sure that I know what's going on. Oh. Not bad. This thing can handle it. But let's try not to do that too much. For all I know, there's ab absolutely nothing in this direction. If I get too much farther without seeing anything, I'm going to go ahead and turn around. Because I may be kind of driving off of the populated map here. The game does kind of encourage you to go the other direction, but I want to see new stuff. What's over this hill? Nothing. Oh. Odd little deformation or whatever there. Okay, one more hill, and then I'm turning around. Okay. I also want to throw the oxygen generator onto here. And toggle it off and on, because I noticed my oxygen is dropping. And turning it on just long enough to refill is handy. All right, let's see what we can find out here. I'm just going to do a quick little jetpack around, see if I see anything in the distance. No. Okay. I think the game is kind of the other direction there. So let's let's head the direction the game wants us to go. 
And I'll still kind of go to places I haven't been before. I know that there's this scrap collector guy that Cosmic and I didn't really, like, do anything with. We went and looked, but we didn't really have a chance to actually interact and trade in some scrap. So I want to check that out. <laughs> this game can be weird sometimes. There's no apparent reason for what just happened there. I mean, other than welcome to space engineers, I hit nothing and the front of my vehicle exploded. Okay. You know? It's part of playing the game, right? Let's put it back together again. Keep on going. I'm not sure if the heavy armor up front saved me or made it worse. Well, I don't have the metal grid to be able to completely fill it out, but it's at least halfway there, and half of heavy armor is better than light armor, so... Let's continue back. And hopefully we don't just randomly, you know, explode because reasons. Oh, that's a little more than I wanted. Okay, that's fine. And I think we're just going to go ahead and pass the ice mine. I don't have any reason to stop other than getting some metal grid. Maybe I'll stop in for a little... Nah, we're fine. Let's just keep on going. Oh, 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 oh. Never build a vehicle without a gyro. <laughs> I'm very glad for my gyros, thank you. We'll stay up on the ridge line. We're still 10 kilometers away from those convoys, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, that's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Not too bad. Chunks everywhere. Lost my connector. It's okay. Very glad for the armor. Oh, Oh no, the battery lost a power cell. Ah, no fun. We should be fine though. I need to be a little bit more careful on these hills though. No more of those long drops. All right, now we're getting out to some more smooth places. Actually, I think that might be the junkyard. No, that's... Uh, what? Uh, again? Well. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it, it sometimes the ground just kind of jumps up to grab you. So, one thing that the heavy armor is doing that probably isn't helping is it's making the front of my ship... Oh, no. So, that's not good news. I might be hoofing it the rest of the way. Yep. We have no power. We have a damaged battery that does not work. And we just lost our reactor. So, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, fix up what I can. Because, why not? Where was that thing? I thought it was buried in... Oh, I'll bet that armor block broke and took it out. Wait. No. Oh, we lost... We lost our cargo container. Good grief. Let's go over to this junkyard place. I think it's right over here. Um, you know what? 
I don't want to leave this, so we're going to leave a GPS point here. I love it. So, <laughs> that's the right spot. That's Miki Scrap. Open for business. Let's see if we can get some parts to fix up our, uh, oof, to fix up our vehicle. Welcome to Miki Scrap. Cool. All right, scrap metal recycling. So I think the idea is you just take your scrap metal and you drop it in there. And then you're supposed to be able to get something out of it. You are best customer over here. Only customer over here. <laughs> so what did he just give me? Nice. What else are you going to give me? Anything good? Come on. Eh, I guess that's not too bad. Oh, okay. That's better than I thought. That's like hundreds of stuff. Okay. I do need reactor components, though. Use control station to adjust dispenser position. Use release command when ready to receive goods. Disable release after for next customer <laughs> okay well I don't think that was there a button I was supposed to use over here ah increase glorious music volume <laughs> decrease glorious music volume and these um, let's see forward speed or no inward speed outward speed release components furnace doors. He did such a good job of making this place look amazing. What is that? Oh, rocket launchers. Large grid rocket launchers. Ro rocket launchers. It's what I said, and it's what I meant. Okay. Well, I'm kind of in a bad way at this point. So, I'm gonna have to do something. But the first thing I'm gonna have to do is head back to my vehicle. Do I still have that other... Like, I still have the other storage thing, right? Battery. Did I lose both of my containers? Because I thought I had another container in this thing. Didn't I have one, like, right here? Yeah, okay, I do. That's a medium cargo container right there. Just can't get to it. There we go. All right, well, let me know what you think would be the best move from here. Do I head back over, or do I head out to the flight research station? Oh, with no turret. I didn't even think about that. How did my turret go away? I'm going to have to check the footage on that one. Uh, what? Did I roll? I don't even remember now what happened. I must have lost some memory in the crash. But yeah, do let me know what you think. You know, any comments are appreciated, suggestions, that kind of thing. Certainly hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying this series or this video. And, uh, and subscribe so you can see more videos like this one. I would hate for you to miss some. Like I said, Make sure and hit those buttons and join me for our continuing saga of Epictetus trying to escape from Mars. And I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.